Two. Two. I think he's two. Chunk? I will tell you this. I am not as drink as you think I am. That doesn't make, make any damn sense. Right. I'm not as think as you drunk I am. That doesn't make sense either. Who would think him to be a lightweight? <laughs> hey! Hey! Uh, I am not a lightweight, okay? I will fight sure. you right in your face! Exactly. <laughs> Alright, alright. So what if he was drunk? I mean, look at him. He outsmarted Shatter. Oh. He switched the whiskey with the milk. He got the job done. That's all. All Wait. that's right. We get the job done before annihilation. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh. Hey, oh. hey whiskey. Oh. Don't oh. Hey, milk. Oh. Oh. Yo, that's not right! Uh, uh. Are you ready for the tonight? Yeah, Dealer knows I'm very, very big. That's right, Dealer knows hoes, Moody Star's the biggest hoes, and uh, yeah, I know all about her and her trick weights. I think you can smell it from here, but anyway, you should go prepare for your debate. Go on. PC, you must get ready for your PC crash versus whatever the hell that guy does. Exactly. So be on your way. Now, as for us, right. yeah. tonight we have a main event. Six man tag match. That's right. Texas tornado rules. And I don't know about you, but I don't like Skywalking off that title too much. So I think we need to smack the stupid off him. I think it goes with Flax and Effo. What the hell's a Flax? What's an Effo? I don't know. <laughs> what is an Effo? By the way, Troy said Moody Star to, said to get her a Kathy and to get her a coffin. Coffin? What the hell is that? I didn't book no coffin match. What the hell's a Kathy? I don't know. This is just what I heard. Right, let's Calm down, man. Okay, listen, okay? We took care of business last week, okay? Two out of three falls. We sent a message to Team Epo. You sent a message yeah. to that ingrate, Skyler Fox. <laughs> he shouldn't be WAW champion right now, but I digress. You are the next champion, okay? Right. You beat him in absolute victory. <laughs> we beat them in two out of three falls. In Annihilation, you're going to Apocalypse. I get a phone title shot. And Team Sane is going to prove <coughs> our superiority. <coughs> oh, God. Who's just leaving them alone? Dude, you gotta watch what you eat, man. <coughs> <laughs> oh, I can't resist. Give oh. up with Willie. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, lay. <laughs> this is too good. <laughs> The following contest is a debate with a topic of discussion being who is the bigger skin? <laughs> Bianca Wild or Moody Star? I will be your moderator. Making her way to the ring first. And hailing from Atlanta, Georgia, it is Bianca Wild. Well, this one ought to be fun to sit back and watch, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be, to my knowledge, the first debate in WAW history, and it is going to see Bianca Wild and Moody Star arguing out over who the bigger skank is. Both ladies have been rumored to be uh, very active, so to speak, in the locker room here in WAW. I think it's all a matter of presentation, but we're going to let the fans decide who the bigger skank is. I'll reserve my opinions for another day. And now we await the arrival of Moody Star. And the crowd lining up for Moody Star as we get ready to see our president in action on what was supposed to be another week off for her. She's going to debate it out with Bianca Wild. At least Moody Star's got everything uh, trapped in here tonight. Somebody else got a uh, top that looks like a little bit's going to spill out of the top at any time. We're going to have ourselves a wardrobe malfunction if things get out of control here on Aftermath. Well, let's start this thing off. It's the debate between Bianca Wild and Moody Star. Yeah. As I think I'll like to start this one if you don't mind. Whatever. Okay. I'd like to start by calling to the, the attention to everyone that while I actually have a job here, Bianca Wild does 
not. Never has. In fact, in Great Red, in 2004, no model came into this company through the back door by sneaking backstage in a skanky outfit in hopes of attaching herself to one of my fine wrestlers. Now, at the time, she couldn't just walk in and go for the top guy. She came in and started hitting on the very new and at the time very much in need of a boost, Shatter. Shatter wasn't climbing up the ranks fast enough, so she dropped him for captain, then a slew of others, and it continues to this day. Basically, what I'm saying is that the wild's main job here is screwing wrestlers, which when we here call them business, a ring rat. <laughs>
Okay, I'm going to turn the audience now. Yes, no. Those who think that Bianco Wild came out on top of this contest, please cheer. Those who think Moody Star came out on top of this contest, I'd say it's pretty apparent who won that one, ladies and gentlemen. It is a no-brainer. It's Moody Star. Your winner, Moody Star. And the ring announcer makes it official, but Bianca Wild charges. And she takes out President Moody Star. And she is down on top of her, choking the life out of the WWE president. Here comes Christian Sane. Here comes Todd Sopel. They're looking to break things up here. Bianca having to be fully restrained from Moody Star. She is enraged. She got lit up by the crowd in this one. She got lit up by Moody Star. And then she lost. Yeah, I'd be pissed if I were her too. Whoa, careful there, Sopel. Don't whip her out too much. We don't need any wardrobe malfunctions. All right, good stuff. No wardrobe malfunctions on that end. Woo! Could have gotten thrown off the air for that one. Christian Say now helping Moody star up, saying he didn't tell Bianca to do anything. Wait a second! He's got her by the hair. He looked like he was going to set her up for a lobotomy, but here comes Epo, saving the day for the WNW president, who walks out on top of this, uh, I guess you could say interesting, rather interesting debate. I don't know what you want to call it, but it was interesting to say the least. I don't think I've heard so many obscenities out of our crowd in one single segment of Aftermath, but they sure lit it up for Bianca Wild in this one as Epo and Moody Star take their lead. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, will be the kendo stick match between Gino Diomedes and Rocco.